Boom. Yeah. Stoked. Wait a minute. Oh my, how did you do that? Those were like exactly the same and they were this far apart. Why is everything you do? <laughs> because you love me. Mm -hmm. And I love you. I do love you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. You should, you want to try and start the intro? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm going to do it. You ready? I'm... Because I'm ready. Okay. Welcome to the Dram Diaries. I'm Chanel, and this is my amazing husband. Peter. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing tonight, Peter? We are doing a Dram Mystery. It's a Dram Mystery. Any kind of whiskey. We don't know what it is, but we are going to let you know what we think of the experience and what we would pay for this experience and if we would recommend this like yeah would we rebuy this right yeah. i'm just going to say off the color I have a feeling I'm going to love this. This is a nice, yeah. deep, rich color. Oh. Ooh, hello, nose. Oh. oh, my goodness. Yeah. This has got some proof, but, like, all, oh, like, it's, oh, it's so good. So... First off, what are we what are we nosing? Do you think, do you think bourbon? Bourbon, and what? I almost feel like it's finished. I don't know, maybe not. It's just so rich. I was wondering because yeah. I do get just the sm smallest hint of like a fruitiness, just yeah. a tinge of fruitiness. Yes. Do you? I think it's like a wine cask. Okay. Finishing a wine cask, maybe. Okay. That's just what off I was the wondering. nose, like, but what proof are you thinking? Okay, off the nose. One, gosh, one ten, one fifteen ish, maybe. I don't know. Like it's so rich. It's I not. I was burning. thinking over a hundred too because yeah. it's not necessarily burning me, but I'm getting a little bit of a sting oh, yeah. in my nose. But like, <laughs> so I was like, so I wonder if this is over a hundred. Like, but it's amazing. The actual nose in this has got everything you want. Oh, I mean, yeah. it's got sunshine. Yes, it <laughs> <does>. <laughs> I feel like it, like it takes me like when I was a kid I used to love rainbows I was always trying oh, rainbows yeah. and I love like the idea of like the pot of gold at the end yeah. of the leprechaun and just like what that could get me in like better life it's you know the glowing pot of gold it is in right rainbow. it's just it like is. that bright happy yes. reward like it's weird this took me back to like when I was still Living in, in SoCal as a little kid, and like it was just my dad and I and my uncle. Yeah. Man, like I had to go to the children's center. Yeah. Man. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, those are some of the happiest times of my life. Yeah. Yeah. A couple yeah. years. Mm -hmm. I want to cry. A warm, sunshiny oh. time of life, huh? It was. Yeah. yeah. It was really nice. But it's weird. I get like like a richness of a like a toasted nut, but I also get like berries. I know. I'm getting like a, a, like a, a I'm I'm getting like a berry a compote. Hint. Yeah, I'm getting like a like a hint of like a berry or a fruit yeah. just a hint though nothing a overwhelming massive sweetness like so much sweetness like that also artificial I'm, honey syrup that you get from like kfc you put yeah. on the biscuit like oh yeah oh my gosh right? i haven't thought about that in years in like three days <laughs> <laughs> no literally like this is you're right this is just like that oh, 
What were you? What? But I'm also getting kind of an earthiness a little bit, like on a really no, <laughs> no I'm just kidding. <laughs> on a I summer do, yeah. summer day, especially yeah. in California where I grew up, mm-hmm. like you know, the sun hits down on your your front lawn or whatever, and if you're out there, like the grass heats up. And you can mm. smell the grass, even if it's not been freshly cut. You can smell the grass. Yeah. You can smell the earth below like the grass. Like 110 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> because you're cooking, and yeah. the earth is cooking. And like that's there's a hint of that in there too. Yes. Just kind of this earthiness, this like warm grass earthiness, and mm. touch of fruit, berry, and I almost definitely like honey. A Gosh, a lot of so honey. So that that earthy grassiness, like when I breathe in like the if there was a finish to the nose mm-hmm. that's when it hits me yeah like it builds up and it's like yeah uh i'm just gonna say i know i'm gonna like this me too. off the I'm nose gonna, gonna i'd pay 100 it. bucks for this just <laughs> yeah. nose, the nose alone i'd pay 100 bucks for this hundred dollars <laughs> sorry hundred <laughs> Okay, when I, you know, when I was young, like, we moved from SoCal to Soar, <laughs> Southern Oregon. What was the big Soar? And it was, like, a hick town at that time in, like, early 80s. And, like, hey, boy. They are like, oh, <laughs> ain't your boy. <laughs> yeah. I grew up in NorCal, so mm. that's where I started. <laughs> The palate is not as intense as I was thinking the nose would be, but... It is tasty. The finish has something, but the finish doesn't... It does not change, if that makes sense. Sometimes when you sip something, the finish hits you in different stages. Stage one is like, oh, we're a little sweet right now. Stage two is like, oh, but look, we have some spice. We're going to tingle, you know? Yeah. This has a delightful palate. Super great finish, but the finish is the same throughout. Like right now, I am tasting the same exact thing as I did when I started the sentence, which is not always what happens when I'm sipping whiskey. So, but it is great. It's an easy sipping drink, and I like it. Like it's it's weird. The nose felt so much higher proof, but the palate. I was kind of geared up for something Mm -hmm. a little more proofy. Actually, I was. I was. I was kind of like amping myself up for something a little more intense and it's it's not but it's it's still great it's still good it's all those things of the nose but toned down which way toned down if you didn't nose this and you just sipped it you'd be like wow this is really good right but the nose like yeah the nose amps it up yeah so on the finish you get like like a dark Almost like a a bitterness on the finish. Oh. A little bit. I see right now I'm a little preoccupied with the fruit forwardness I'm getting. Like mm. I'm actually getting more of like a fruitiness on the palate than I was on the nose. On the nose mm. I was getting a hint. Yeah. On the palate right. I'm actually getting more. Mm-hmm. And um, the other scents that I was picking up on are definitely falling to the background and I'm getting more of a fruit forward experience but it's like I said pretty good it's very smooth I like that it has like a it's one of those whiskeys where I get a minerality like a, mm-hmm. a salinity almost on the finish yeah. but like like sometimes when I get like minerality and salinity I get like white pepper yeah. The spice is a white there pepper like and not pepper. like a not like necessarily a baking spice. No, right. But like a like actual like spicy a peppery, spice. Yeah. But not like a cayenne. Like once in a while I get a cayenne. When I get that on whiskey, mm-hmm. I actually like it. Yeah. But yeah, I hmm. I have no clue what this could be. Like I honestly don't know if this is a rye or a bourbon finish in something. I really okay. don't know. Because mm. the palate has some brightness, and I usually get more brightness on a rye, but it has, but the nose is dark like a bourbon. This is really interesting. Yeah. I don't know. What, like, 
What would do you, you think? It's a, maybe a high ride bourbon. It could be, or a barely legal ride, but it's. I, I feel like it's finished in a wine cask. I know, because there's like a little bit of fruity, yeah, berry mm-hmm. something there. Yeah. Mm. What would you pay for this, love? Forty bucks. Okay, I was thinking the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. 40 bucks for this? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to find out what it is? No, I don't care. Let's, let's stop the... All right. Well, well, it was nice seeing you all tonight. <laughs> um. No! <laughs> <gasps> what is it? <laughs> okay, let's see. That's not, that's not what it is! Well, I never know because... I know because he's buying... I do such a good job with <laughs> these bottles. I'm like, ah, with my crayons, like a toddler. Like, happy face. Or like, what is this? I'm like, it's a happy face. You don't know? It's a rainbow. Or Who's something? happy? I'm happy. It's a rainbow. It's gold. <laughs> okay. What is it? I'm so happy. Whoa, Woodford Reserve Double Oak? Oh, okay, I couldn't read that. Wow! $57. That doesn't... Okay, the nose, I get it, but the palette does not remind me of Woodford Reserve Double Oak. Maybe because we did, like, two pours before this. Yeah. Huh. Because typically I'm like, yeah, I would buy that again, but, like, I was like, oh, 50 bucks. Yeah. I, Maybe we didn't clean our palette as, as good as we should have, but it's good. I mean, it is. I mean, it's $57. Yeah, I would. Yeah. I, w- I would get it. Yeah. Honestly, I, I, I would. Like, I feel like Woodford Reserve Double Oak. You want to grab it? I do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of a cool bottle. It's yeah. interesting, you know? I like it. It's. I don't know, like, if you're new into bourbon and you want, like, your palate to get used to, like, more, like, punchy flavor. Yeah. This is, like, double oak is a good way to go because the proof is not high, but the flavor is punch because of the secondary cask. Yeah. Caps, flavor caps. Mm -hmm. The cask, age, proof, and smoke. So, this is something uh, we'll we'll always have. We, We like it. Yeah, we too. Yeah. That's good. All right. Even though I said I'd pay 40 bucks, I would still go out and buy it, pay $57 and get another <laughs> bottle of this. It's it's good. Like when you, like I like this when I'm cooking. Like oh, yeah. It, you yeah. know? I don't know why, but just like, it because like I'm cooking with spices and stuff. Like we do, when you and I cook, like it's yeah. from our heart. Like That's true. And we're just like, Put stuff together this yeah. like holds up to what you're smelling when you're cooking exactly. and stuff like it's good but it's not so potent it, like it doesn't overpower anything to yeah. where we can't it it yeah. doesn't interrupt our ability to season our food yeah. or i would say it complements it so okay now that i know what it is now that you know what it is sip it see if that changes <laughs> because your perception is your reality Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel like the palette changed for me now that I know yeah. what it is. Like it got more. I feel like now, because I know what it is, I am tasting exactly what I tasted the first time I ever sipped it. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so. Wow. Yeah. It's delicious. It is delicious. All right. Thank you for tuning in. I know when you see these things and we do them like double blind, you're like, they don't know what they're talking about. Because I'm like, I don't know, is this a finished rye or a finished bourbon and wine cask? Like, <laughs> when you're doing them blind, like, yeah. there's something else going on in this. You know, we knew it. Absolutely. Right? So, anyways, thank you for turning in. We really, really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Until next time. <laughs>